Okay, so in this problem we're dealing with um, a question about the size of the Amazon rainforest. And we're told that it's uh, about equal in size to a field. That is 2 times 10 to the third kilometers wide and 2.5 times 10 to the third kilometers long. We want to find the approximate area of the rainforest in square kilometers. Then convert this amount to square meters and, and answer which is a better choice for measuring the area of the rainforest and why. Okay, so imagine that you know the Amazon is this wonderful and vast rainforest, um, certainly the largest on the planet. And if we look at it, what happens is that it it is so large that we have this field, or we could draw this field that's equal in size, where our width, let's say, is two times ten to the third, and our height is two and a half times ten to the third. So maybe something like that. And this would equal the area of the of the rainforest. So if we write this out, we get two times ten to the third kilometers, and then we get two point five times ten to the third kilometers. So the area would be what? Well, two times two and a half is what? Two times two is four times a half is one. So that's four plus one or five times ten to the sixth. Right? We're multiplying two powers of ten same base, add the exponents. And a kilometer times a kilometer is a kilometer square. Right, just like x times x is x squared. So we can say that um, the total area of the rainforest is about 5 times 10 to the 6 kilometers squared. And this is an estimation. It could be a little bit larger or smaller depending on the way you estimate it. Um, but we want to know, um, right, we want to know what is this area in square meters? Okay, so how do we do that? Well, if we think about the, the square kilometer in general, what does that represent? It represents a square where each side is one kilometer long. So a square kilometer would have one kilometer on this side and one kilometer all around. Multiplying them together, you do get one kilometer squared. But a meter squared um, is much much smaller, right? Remember that one kilometer equals a thousand meters. So what would a meter square be? Well, a meter square, if I drew it to scale, would be almost microscopic at this level. But I'll draw it a little bit smaller. Since this is not to scale anymore. It's just a crude representation. It would be one meter by one meter. If you multiply a meter by a meter, you get one meter square. So, why am I telling you all this? Well, to understand how many meters fit in a kilometer square, or how many meter squares fit in a kilometer square, we need this basic understanding, because each kilometer on each side is going to represent a thousand meters. So just by writing that out, what do we see? We see that one kilometer square equals a thousand meters by a thousand meters. If we multiply those two, we get a million. Right, a thousand times a thousand is a million meter squares fit inside one kilometer square. So we have this new ratio that one kilometer square equals, I'll put use a ratio here, one times 10 to the sixth meters squared. That's a million square meters. So here we don't have a one kilometer square, we have five times 10 to the sixth square kilometers. We want to know what's x. How many meter squares do we have? So I would just look at this and say, oh, well, we took one kilometer squared and multiplied it by five times ten to the sixth. That would give us five times ten to the sixth kilometers squared. So all I'm going to do is multiply this number to keep our ratio the same by five times ten to the sixth. So we have this new calculation. Every single kilometer square has one times ten to the sixth meters squared. So if we have five times ten to the sixth kilometers squared, multiplying that by one times ten to the sixth, we get what? We'll multiply the 5 and the 1 to get a 5. Multiply our 10 to the 6 and get 10 to the 12th meters squared. This is an enormous amount of, of square meters, right? You imagine it's a 5 with what? With 12 zeros. So we have 3, 6, 9, 12 zeros. What's that? Well, we have millions, billions, and trillions, right, of square meters. So we have 5 trillion square meters basically half, almost half the size of the total area of the United States. That's how big this, this the rainforest is. The question is then, for, for them at least, what 
which measurement would you use and why? Well here, um, I guess you could say that you might want to use square kilometers. With such a large area to measure, you want to deal with a larger unit of measurement. Of course, you could argue that the meter squared is also justified. A meter squared being a much smaller unit of measurement might allow you to make a much more precise um, um, land measurement. You know, if you're trying to estimate loss of rainforest or the intricate curves of the river, right? You can imagine that the smaller the measurement, the more accurate um, your total numbers would be. You know, a large square kilometer, let's say, just drawing it here in the picture, it would be hard to line up these square kilometers to perfectly measure your river, right? There'd be all these gaps everywhere. A square meter, being so small though, could easily fit in those gaps, and thus would give you a more precise calculation of the size of your rainforest. However, when you're dealing with a standardized test, sometimes you have to kind of, unfortunately, answer in a way that they accept. So here are what you could say, and it may differ on your test, but you want to, you know, check examples and ask your teacher. Um, but what you might usually say is, I'm going to pick the larger unit of measurement because I'm dealing with a larger land area. And that's the end of it. So there's no room for debate there, which is unfortunate. But that's, that might be what you would put down. Thanks.